Hi, I'm Joe Graydon. And I'm Terry Graydon. We co-host The People's Pharmacy on Public Radio. Hypertension remains the silent killer. That's because it causes heart attacks, strokes, and kidney disease. And tens of millions of people have high blood pressure, and they don't even know it. Do you know what your blood pressure numbers well, are? Well, the only way you can tell is by having a blood pressure monitor at home. And you know your blood pressure can change over the course of the day. It can be low in the morning, but it can be very high in the afternoon or evening after a stressful day at work certainly can be. There are some non-drug ways to lower blood pressure. Exercise is terribly important, of course, but there's also diet. And what are the foods that can actually help lower blood pressure? Well, believe it or not, chocolate is one. Chocolate, all right. Chocolate and beets. There's a wonderful study out of England showing that a daily serving of beets can help lower blood pressure. And there's something called the DASH diet, dietary approaches to stopping hypertension, which can actually lower blood pressure almost as much as medicines. Now, of course, if diet and exercise don't work, then you are going to need to take medication. Your doctor and your pharmacist can work with you to make sure that your numbers are good and that you're not experiencing any side effects.